Courtney and Ryan here with your weekly Money Minutes. And this week we have a very special guest today. This is Robert here and he is with Robert P. Russo CPA, which is actually downstairs right in our own building here. And he is the expert when it comes to the new tax law. You've read the new tax law, how many times is that again? At least 20. 20. He has read the new tax law 20 times as 1,000 pages long. So to say it, he knows this back and front. Um, so today we actually have you in there because a lot of people have been talking about what can we do to make sure we are utilizing this to our best advantage. And one good point you had is why it might be better to be an employee or be self-employed right now rather than being an employee. Is that correct? The new law created something called a qualified income, uh, qualified business income deduction. Mm -hmm. And, and that simultaneously it did away with a lot of itemized deductions. So if you're, you work for somebody as a salesperson, for instance, you used to be able to deduct your accounting fees, your travel, entertainment, meals. If you go to a seminar, any of those would be deductible as employee business expenses. Right. They done no away more. with that for, yeah. the, for 2018, that's gone. But if you're self-employed, you can still deduct those, plus you're now eligible for this 20% deduction off of your taxable income. Wow. So it's a real big benefit. And it, if you have the opportunity to have a choice of whether you're going to be an employee or self-employed, all things being equal, you're going to be do much better under the new law as a self-employed person. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, That's absolutely. huge. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. If you want more tax tips like this, um, you can go ahead and you can email us at taxes at info at paincm.com. You can get Bob's latest newsletter. And if you want to subscribe for more weekly, timely financial content, click on the link above or below, depending on where you're watching this, and click on moneyminutes.com and subscribe. And that's this week's moneyminutes.com. As always, be, be bullish. bullish.